like we always do about this time. <laughs> yeah. So many people have asked me, what's been happening since that day in May when I was fired, laid off, or asked to leave the building? I have some excerpts from an interview with Anderson Cooper. Might be pretty revealing. In the months since, a lot of people have spent a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what happened. At bookstores and the local grocery store, even having breakfast alone in a restaurant. You come across as less guarded. Was, is, that, is that hard for you? Does it feel good to do it? Hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is so critical to just critical. It's critical. I'm just wondering what was going through your mind at that point. Hmm. That's a great question. To be honest, gratitude that I'd had the opportunity and now time for a new chapter. Does that happen to you a lot? I mean, people coming up to you who have said terrible things about you, uh, not to your face, and then being very friendly to your face. Not really, Anderson. No one is friendly or nice. It's, uh, it's really, it's waves and waves of unremitting gloom. You talk about all, uh, alternate nostril breathing. What is that? And dare you give me a demonstration? Well, whoa. All right. I'd be glad to. Go that way. Oh, oh good. Go this way. Oh. You know, General Michael Hayden, uh, I have him on my show a lot. And, uh, you know, he has a lifetime in intelligence work. One of the things he talks about is the thin veneer of civilization and that he is very concerned that it is a very thin veneer, that we think our institutions are so solid, that our democracy is so secure that nothing can upset it, nothing can wipe away that thin veneer of civilization. Do you worry about that? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, veneer like lacquer? I don't... I try not to... I say... Don't worry, be happy. <laughs>